morning, world. Woke up feeling pretty grand today. Yes, pretty grand, pretty grand. I was supposed to go <clears throat> to a church service with my girl pal last night. I can't even tell you how I'm so glad that she didn't return my call or reach back out to me to go after I left her a message because I did not feel like going. I didn't want to go. Just mentally drained, tired, and I enjoyed my evening. I did. I got a little bit, picked up some things for um, Jared for school. Something to eat and came home and went through paperwork, made phone calls, caught up on a few of my shows. One is called Tyrant. Love that show. It's about middle, middle Eastern politics. Easterns are ruthless. What else did I catch up on? Graceland. I mean, everybody need to watch that. Graceland. What else? Um, uh, uh, don't be tardy for the party. That's a spinoff from one of the wives of Atlanta. Um, Kim. She was the only Caucasian woman on there. But I, I love seeing how her husband literally changed her for the better. But eventually, some of her were off on him. And, okay. It's not so much it's so bad, but I mean, just seeing the transformation as far as literally become a product of the environment and transferring the spirits and first met him, he was gen a gentleman, still a gentleman via the television. Um, Christian country boy and uh, very grounded, close with his family. And the way that it, anyway, I'm not going to spend my time talking about them. But I like Croy though. I do. about it. Let me see. Graceland, Tyrant, Don't Be Tardy. Uh, oh, this show that Halle Berry is in. It's called um, Extent. Yeah. E-X-T-A-N-T. -E yes, Extent. This show is so... I can see this actually being for real and happening. Not even more so futuristic. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the things, some of those things, blah, even happen right now. But that Halle Berry, honey. Yeah. She's a pretty good actress. She's cold. Pretty good actress. Uh, my mom's been working a lot in the church all week, which is good. I was a little disgruntled with her, you know? If she doesn't answer the phone, of course I'm freaking out. You know, I'm like, okay, it's nine o'clock at night. And honey, I don't care if the Holy Ghost is giving my mom a spiritual foot rub. If that phone rings, she hears it. You think she's in the military or something. She's not a heavy sleeper at all. She hears everything. So if I'm calling from like 7 to 11 and she's not answering yes I'm freaking out because she has like six canes one walker doesn't use none of 
with him. She may take the walker if she leaves the house, but she's like, oh, I'm fine. But I'll find out that, like, she's tripped and fell through the house or um, she'll have wires everywhere and just, just doing too much. You go over there, you try to fix things and, oh, I'm fine, don't move nothing. And, uh, so, yeah. So I guess she saw was very upset with her for not reaching out and calling and letting me know that she was, you know, going to church and someone else was taking her and she doesn't understand the validity of me being upset. I'm like, really? Like, really? You're not serious, are you? Like, really? I should have went that way. Um, so, was it day for yesterday? Yeah, day for yesterday. She called and let me know that she was going to church. I said, wow. Okay, because she saw how upset I was. Wasn't rude or anything to my mom, of course, but she felt at this time like, Mom, I'm over it. Like, you do this to me too many times. I mean, granted, I understand that the other children are freaking out, but I'm the only one who's always there. I mean, to the point, like, when I know she's supposed to be home or, you know, if she wasn't feeling good or just something, and if she's not answering the phone for, like, even two hours, I'll drive to my mom's house. Cause I'm like, okay, you're not going anywhere. You don't, she doesn't drive anymore. It's not like she get tons, she doesn't really get visitors unless it's family and like, you know, um, two of her neighbors. So if two or three hours go past and my mom's not answering the phone, of course I'm worried. And I live about maybe 10 minutes from my mom, 10, 15 minutes. I'll drive to her house. <laughs> And see what's going on and it's sad it's happened so many times like when they see me come to my mom's house when it's like eight o'clock on they, you know they see me at least five times a week at my mom's but i i come more so like between three and eight or something like that but they know that I come at least four or five times a week but honey is yes, you know those neighbors honey they notice everything but um so when I'm when I'm pulling when I'm like pulling in I'm like jumping out the car relatively quickly they know what that's about they're like oh she's fine she's fine she was just out here talking to us and I'm like Thirty to eleven. So you can 